So how was that for you growing up? Because you're biracial. Yeah. It, growing up, it was it was really weird. Like, I, I didn't know it was weird until I was an adult. Of course. As a child, like, see... well, as children don't see color. They don't become racist until they're told, taught by other people right. to become racist. Or until society tells yeah. you you're different or you're weird. It's very much learned. Yeah. Um, yeah, I um. I just had some some really strange experiences with that. <clears throat> like, um, first off, I was the only mixed kid that I knew. There mm-hmm. wasn't any other in Columbus. Do you not have any siblings? I have a sister, but she has a different mom. Okay. But she also looks really light-skinned. Mm, okay. like she looks black, but she's very light-skinned. So mm-hmm. I think my, my, my dad's genes um, from mixing in during slavery was a lot of – has made their side look significantly lighter. Yeah. Like, but it's weird because there's some people on my dad's side who are – yeah. Very dark skinned. And then the majority of them are like, not as like how, you know, one in four of a, of an offspring was, is, um, will take on the recessive genes as opposed to the dominant genes. Correct. You know? Yeah. So, and by the way, like mixed race kids are always the best looking kids. Fucking like right. they really are. There was a really interesting, <laughs> like Freakonomics, um, a documentary about how, and they were searching for like the most beautiful person in the world and the, mm. the like the, a worldwide ideal, like s- definition of beauty. And they actually, in the end, I think concluded that it was literally like a mix of all of the races, mm-hmm. like just, you know, a person that was just everything. Well, way to cover all your bases. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so, right? Yeah. No, but you can right. come out and be the like, most oh. politically correct answer yeah. is everyone. Every- <laughs> <laughs> but it's but it, true, though. It was it's, interesting. It's I mean, it, there was this whole yeah. – I, I should find it. But there was a whole science thing and they did like, you mm-hmm. know, like um, – because uh, people usually find beauty is um, – Symmetry. Symmetry, yeah. yeah. And just that um, inbreeding with – you know, and within like your own race and constant inbreeding right. is actually like you pick up a lot more um, Ma- yeah. problems. Yeah. Um, it's true. Yeah. Um, but um, – I think also with that, just like with genetics, it's throughout history, <clears throat> we've just like animals, we've evolved things that are more attractive or less attractive. You know what I mean? That these are mm-hmm. things that have happened to encourage breeding. Right. Like, you know what I mean? And this is with animals too. Like, you know, all different types of animals will have different markings and stuff yeah. that the other sex of the animal finds more attractive. Right. Or, which obviously with in, including humans, like, I mean, it doesn't sexual orientation doesn't matter as much, but just evolutionarily we do develop traits that traits like that. You Mm -hmm. know what I mean? So I think that the whole mixing of all the races, it just brings you all the different demographics of those things together. Mm. Maybe that's why. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't know if that's exactly it, but that seems like a a thought process that could be. That would make sense. Yeah. And maybe that, maybe that's why we find it attractive and because we haven't seen it as much. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like we haven't, the world hasn't seen, the quarter Chinese, quarter German, quarter African, quarter yeah, quarter because, Saudi Arabian kid. Like right. that, that kid, uh, there's not many of that kid. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah, so it's like you see them and they're like, beautiful because it's something different. Yeah. And you know I, mean? I mean, we've only been able to like travel, you know, quickly between For like continents in the last years. Hun- yeah. I mean, <laughs> the last hundred years, really. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, okay. So sorry. So back to you. No, no. But so I think that maybe that's, maybe that's why that study feels that way, mm-hmm. you know, because when you're, when you just like with plants, when you're like, when you're mixing, um, like with the hybrid theory thing I was talking about, when you're mixing different plants, it'll take on the stronger genes right. of the other plants yes. usually, except yes. for the hybrids or that, not the hybrids, but the, the one, one out of four. Right. Yeah. You know, so maybe that has something to do with it. I don't know. That's science shit. I fuck stuff. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what. <laughs> I don't know what. I, I read a lot and I watch a lot of lectures, <laughs> but that's all I fucking know on the subject. Um, but with me, oh yeah, back to me being when I, when I it was like being a kid that was mixed, right? Mm-hmm. You know what you're about? Um, yeah, it was. It was. It was interesting because I I never really had much time to like. I, I never had other mixed kids to really relate to, mm-hmm. I guess, on that level. But also, I didn't really know growing up in the house I grew up in. I had no idea that there was any issue with what I saw at home. Right. right? I didn't know that there, that society had put a stigma on the on the inter, like an interracial marriage. Mm-hmm. You know, 
Because that's such a fucking ridiculous term. Yeah. But <laughs> I, I hate that shit. Um, but it's – yeah, I, I never knew that because I always knew this large black fella was my dad. Mm-hmm. And this little uh, brown-haired – or yeah, brown-haired white lady is my mom. And mm-hmm. that's – I didn't I didn't see them as black or white. You right. know what I mean? I just saw them as my parents. Right. And I would see other parents that were both – looked similar. You know, mm-hmm. they both had the same skin color, like either – whatever it is. And I, I didn't think of it as me being weird or something being wrong. Mm-hmm. It was just something that I observed. And then it was not until I started going to school and stuff that I noticed there was an issue. Like some kids weren't allowed to come over to my house because my dad was black. And wow. like, it was really strange occurrences like that. One of the weirdest ones was my parents and I were at the Ohio state fair when I was like, yeah, six, seven, I don't know, I was around that age. And um, we had, my mom had gone off to the restroom, so I was just standing there with my dad. And mm-hmm. I was, you saw the picture of me when I was a kid. I was like a little yeah. blonde haired, yeah. little skinny, yeah, little yeah. white kid. <laughs> yeah. And um, I'm standing there and I'm holding this like six one, six two, three hundred and twenty 320 pound black guy's yeah. hand. And I'm just like standing there and these cops come up and they like separated us. They got in between us. And they're like, excuse me, son, like, do you know who this, do you know who this man is that's, that's touching you? And I was like, what? Like, oh <laughs> and I was like, just didn't know. I was like, yeah, it's my dad. And my dad is like fuming. My dad's like furious, you know? And like, I get all like emotional when I talk about this kind of stuff. But so my dad's fucking furious and I'm freaking out because I'm a child and I don't know why this person's trying to separate me from my dad. Yeah. And then finally my mom comes back out and, uh, you know, She's freaking out on the cops too. She's like, oh my God, like, what, what's happening? What's happened? Blah, blah, blah. And they're like, well, we were just trying to see what, you know, this, this man was doing with this young, co- or with this young child here. And she's like, that's my husband and my son. Like, what are you talking about? And they're like, well, it's just, he didn't look, they didn't look like, you know, yeah. no, they didn't look like I was his dad. Is he adopted or is he, and they, they kept going on this thing. And I'm just like freaking out as a little kid at the yeah. fair right now. And, um, yeah, so that was that was a rough one. That's a really horrible no, experience because they're but, also like cops are like authority figures, exactly, you know. Then yeah. suppo- they're supposed to always be right and enforcing the law. So like they're, they teach us they're the good guys, right? And, and so just, for them to like create this big kind of question mark in your, yeah, you know, was, between your parents, that's that terrible. Was fucking rough, man. Hey guys, if you want to support my show, then you should think about joining my Patreon. At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q&As, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered, and while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.